so amazing is the moonlight that makes me wonder why we separated or am i faded you shine so bright it's an understatement single is overrated hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back it's been a while since we had a vlog on here but as you can hear my voice is I don't know i don't know what happened the weapon that was formed prospered it's been two weeks of me not feeling my best i caught a flu but surprisingly the only symptom i had was my voice was gone i wasn't sneezing i didn't have a runny nose i didn't have fever i just lost my voice for a week plus so i just started getting it back so bear with me today we are not the usual <laughs> sweet voiced people today we are gentlemen <laughs> yeah but honestly i can't wait for my voice to come back but i had to keep going because i'm not sick i can't say i'm sick it's just that my voice hasn't cleared but yeah so i'm ready as you can see i am all ready i am going for maintenance my god the last two weeks cramped up in this house i haven't left my house in two weeks the only place i've gotten to is the gate and back collect deliveries and back i'm ready to outside today first up i'm going to get my nails done and then i will go fix my hair as you can see it's overgrown it needs a retouch badly and a nice wash so i'll go fix my hair after the nails and then i will need to buy a few things i will see if i have time to go to panda mart because there are a few things i'm looking for and i think i can find them there so we will see if i have time i'll go to panda mart if not then i'll plan for another day but yeah that's the day today maintenance just you know getting myself back together my nails are still looking good but yeah i need a pedi and i will also change this and then get my hair done so i'm done i just need to prep my hot water i've just been drinking hot water guys i even lost weight <laughs> i've just been drinking hot water so i need to go and prep my hot water as i wait for my uber to get here and then we can go but first i want to show you what i'm wearing so i have this denim jacket that i got from think twice <coughs> is my voice getting worse my god yeah i have this denim jacket that i got from think twice and then i have a neat dress that is sleeveless just in case it gets warmer it's from shop thrift kenya it has like little buttons here and then it's a midi dress you guys know i love midi dresses it's not tight so it's super super comfortable so that's how it's looking with the jacket the dress have i said where i got it from shop thrift kenya and then i have my brown flats that i got from truly gorgeous i actually need to pass by there today and see if i'll find a black pair because i badly need a new black pair yeah so that's what i have oh in my bag i'm carrying this tote from bushik it's a deep brown tote i love it so much it's very very good quality and it's big enough to carry my shenanigans so that's my outfit of the day for maintenance super comfy warm still i have a scarf in here because it's still quite cold but yeah let's it's go so close, my baby my legend sing me
Gracious. I really want to vlog but my voice is just not having it. Good morning guys. It's the next day. I finished at the salon yesterday and then I met my best friend. We had booked the same appointment at the same salon and we hadn't spoken prior so it was so exciting to see her. So we went out for a little date at Java and i came back home super late it was night oh i also went to we also went to panda mat and i got a few things that i will share with you much later but yeah, i just woke up i had a little lay in today it's almost 10 30 and i'm just getting up i want to go find something to eat i had started intermittent fasting yesterday but i feel like i'm pretty fatigued and with my illness still going i think i want to wait it out and feel better then i can um start uh fasting after my next cycle because yeah we are close to pms week as well so yeah let me just wait for my body to recover fully and then we can go back to intermittent fasting yeah so i'm up i am feeling a little tired from yesterday and also just the things that i have been working on but i'm grateful so i want to go fix something to eat I don't know what but i have some leftover rice and beef from the other night i think i'll have that with some tea so yeah i'll go fix something to eat some tea sit down and decompress a little yeah as i wake myself up and then we will see where the day leads today i was supposed to go shopping i'll see how i feel as the day progresses and we'll see if i'll go grocery shopping either way i have to shop on this vlog because i need to restock my house but yeah let's first go fix something to eat and we'll catch up later Your 
place never to see you again that was simply delusion followed up with confusion that was just substitution for a lonely bed so that's impressive how much you're messing with my feelings and my heart That I was out of my mind Thinking you were the one That it was love feelings was wrong I should have known I should know I don't know what I was thinking Let it be more than drinking And going back to your place Never to see you again Guys, 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 guys You need to go and watch this episode By TMI because as we're speaking, I don't have any edges. And Marugi's and Lydia's edges are missing. They are missing. This guy, this guy, the episode is about um, answering your sex dilemmas. My goodness. And that first part I've watched. Where? <laughs> hey, this guy. Oh my God. Hey. Guys, guys, today's not giving. It's not giving. I've been sat on this couch since we last spoke and I want to do that for the rest of the day. I just want to sit here. I'm drinking my hot water because yeah, my voice is not back yet. I actually do need a review from my doctor. <laughs> I need to call him and ask him to prescribe more meds because mm -mm, two weeks without a voice, like without a proper voice, mm -mm. It's giving something is wrong. Well, I've treated it and it's gotten better, but I need it to be the sweet, crispy voice that I have. Maybe I'm being impatient, but I'm just tired. I'm tired of speaking like this. So I'm going to take the day off and Netflix, organize my house, maybe cook something light for dinner. And then tomorrow we pick up this blog and finish it. I know I'll wake up much more energetic since I'll rest enough today. So tomorrow we can do the cleaning, cooking, grocery shopping, all of that, depending on how I wake up. But yeah, just wanted to tell you guys that today has just gone down the drain. No, I wouldn't call it going down the drain. I would call it prioritizing what the body needs and taking some rest. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Simply delusion, followed up with confusion. I was just substitution for a lonely bed. So that's impressive how much I'm messing with my feelings in my heart. to see you again that was simply delusion followed up with confusion that was just substitution for a lonely bed so that's impressive how much you're missing Seven, 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 seven,
Something to say to everybody who wear, wear whatever I want. Dressed in a gown, everybody's like, why are we going nowhere special? Just going to the store. I think I'd have it all. Tell you why I've been more. Picking a plate, being a plate. She is unruly. Never seen her like this. Didn't think it existed, no, truly. Don't get in the way. She's not in a place. She'll get moved. These are dream rules. This is someone else. I'm not myself. No, no. Mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules. This is someone else. I'm not myself. No, no. Mm -hmm. Problems disappear. She could tell you the things you want to hear. She could read your mind and that she could believe all the little lies. You tell yourself it die. Never get it wrong, it's always right. Making the play, being the play. She is on a rule. Never seen it like this. Didn't think it existed, no truth. She's not here to play, she'll get moved But don't mistake this girl for being me Cause these are dream rules This is someone else, I'm not myself, no, no mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules It's the next day. I am having my breakfast <laughs> in bed because, yeah, it's pretty cold this morning and I have to stay warm. I want to do a bit of work and then I'll get ready and share with you guys the haul I promised from Panda Mat. And then I will be going grocery shopping later so that we can stock up the house and i can just have what i need i'm running low on so many of my essentials i need to stock up so yeah my voice is still coming back and it's frustrating me because i've had enough meds i'm just now managing with some uh strep seals and it's helping a bit but I'm, I'm just done i'm done i need my voice back there are things that are waiting for my voice to come back <laughs> let me tell you guys i went to do my nails and my hair so that i can be ready to create some content that i need to create but i need the voice to come back i can't create that content with this kind of voice because it's like an evergreen kind of content like i want to repurpose that content for a very long time so i'm just here waiting for my voice to come back fully but i'm grateful that i can speak and that you can hear me <laughs> a week ago a week ago i couldn't even say hi i couldn't so i'm grateful for that so let me just uh chill i need to journal i need to journal i didn't journal yesterday i want to do a gratitude journal this journal is from journaling therapy i'm going to be using it for my gratitude journaling i use this a few times a week three or four times a week in the evenings but since i didn't journal yesterday i'm going to use it now and then my usual plain notebook journal to just um you know 
decompress and process my thoughts and then i need to plan my day and see what i have to do especially for work so i'm going to do that now do a bit of work like an hour or so and then i can get ready create some content and i can now share with you guys what we what i bought and what i end up buying today yeah let me do some work i'll catch you guys later Never do what's best for me. I was such a hopeless fool. I just kept making the same mistakes. Yeah, that was until I found you. I'm done with work and I want to get ready for my day. It's 11 a.m. I need to make the bed and then go take a quick shower. I need to create some content. I need to create a reel of my morning skincare routine. But I'll definitely share with you the products that I use so that you guys can also get to see what I use on my face. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm feeling a little low energy. My goodness, I don't know what's happening. I know it's not the homer because it's done now it's just that my voice isn't as clear but i've had like a very big energy dip after ovulation it's like i i, I don't even get it like i get it because it happens all the time but like the difference between two days ago me and me today mm -mm. It, i don't even think we're the same person <laughs> but anyway it's okay we will roll with it right yeah and rest when we need to so let me make the bed and then get whatever i want to wear and then do the real then we do the haul then i go grocery shopping but before i do that i wanted to share with you my closet because i decluttered while i was sick i decluttered my entire closet and right now i have like a very small collection of clothes i have taken out all the colors because i never get to wear them anyways i have mostly neutrals because i'm trying to build a capsule wardrobe that i can you know mix and match different pieces different basic pieces because yeah i figured out that's my style and i want to stick with it so i even have a list of the things that i'm going to buy to complete my capsule closet yeah so let me go share with you that and then we get going so this is how my closet is looking like for the foldables so these are my towels these are my workout gym clothes these are my home leggings these are some home dresses all my jeans imagine this is all the jeans i have i took out everything else and i just kept this one of them is a skirt these are shorts and then just this jeans i think i have one more pair that's dirty and then these are my other pants bottoms uh palazzos just casual wear at the back i have all my dresses and then at the top here i have my skirts long skirts and this long jeans skirt that i bought just a few days ago and then i have my home tank tops that i wear to sleep to chill at home and then i have all my t-shirts the ones that have arms <laughs> at the back there i have my home dresses more home dresses and my black dresses then for the hangers see the space i have in between guys see all that space i only kept what i wear so these are the lighter colors and then the browns these two are for my denims the denims are dirty that's why they are not here and then i've classified them in this way let me share with you you see like this shirt is patterned and it's black and white inside i have 
all similar pieces this is black and white black and white black and white like that black pieces like this inside i have black tank tops and bodysuits and the like you see that yeah that's how i usually organize my clothes so if i'm looking for a black piece i'll definitely look for it here if i need my denims and colored tops they are here if i need my browns they are here you see that you see that my browns are here my creams are here my light blues and blues are here my whites are here you see that yeah it helps a lot when you're looking for a specific piece of clothing so that's how my closet is looking like now i'm happy with it at the top there i have my bedding at the top there i have my suitcase with extra duvets and then all the bags that i wear there this has my robes that I wear at home and at the back I have all my sweater dresses. Then I also decluttered this part. I just have these two organizers that have my cushion covers for throw pillows and my bed pillow covers. And then at the bottom I have my, this is my body care but I keep this one here because it's the only place it fits. This is my body care. This is my facial skin care. This is my feminine stuff, wipes, tissues, panty liners and the like. At the back I have one with perfume and the other one with hair care and makeup removal. And that's it. And then I have this one that doesn't even have a lot of things just to add anything that I might buy. Yeah, so I'm happy with the closet and now I can at least buy the things that I know for sure I need and I have space for all of that. Yeah, so that's it. So let me make the bed and then we go get ready. doing my skincare routine and I've already filmed that part for Instagram so I wanted to take you guys through what I have been applying for the last I would say over a month 
yeah i refined my morning skincare routine and my evening so maybe in the next vlog i can share my evening routine but for my morning i start with the cerave foaming cleanser i love this so much this is probably my third bottle and it lasts a very long time so you just need to buy like one of this maybe twice a year and you're good so that's my cleanser and then after cleansing i introduced a toner that anti beauty recommended it's the vita b5 toner and it's been so good i don't use it all the time but when i do i just get like an instant glow if you want to see how my skin changed from ashy to glowy make sure you watch that reel i shared there so i've been loving the toner and then after the toner i applied the uncover vitamin c serum this is the i am radiant um what is the name it has another name baobab glossy serum it's eight percent vitamin c and two percent abitin infused with african baobab so a really good antioxidant a really good uh brightening serum i apply it in the morning some days i skip but most days i apply that then i go in with my snail mucin this is by cos rx i love it this is probably my sixth bottle or maybe even tenth because i'm always applying this i apply it after my serum usually when you're doing your skincare routine you start from the lightest to the heaviest so when you're arranging your serums you start from the one that is lighter in consistency and then move up to the ones that are heavier in consistency so for me everything that's watery starts and then i finish with the creams so vitamin c for me is lighter than the snail mucin so i start with this and then i go in with that then i give it like 10 minutes in between and apply my eye cream the eye cream i use is by cos rx it is a peptide eye cream really good for brightening the under eye guys when i started doing my skincare routine when i started getting into skincare my under eye was really dark and as you can see like you can't even tell that i once had dark eye circles of course the top is usually darker because of the folding but yeah the bottom cleared and i just apply on the bottom because you know what with eye creams if you apply it on your top lid it's going to firm up that part of your skin yet that part needs to remain as elastic as possible so that you can open and close your eyes so for eye creams i don't apply my top lid i just apply under the eye and just extend to my cheeks and on this what do we call this bone it has a name this this part here just before the eyebrow that's where i apply my eye cream then immediately after i apply my moisturizer i use the cerave moisturizing lotion this bottle lasts a very long time because i need a teeny tiny bit of it and then i give that again 10 minutes in between usually i'll do my hair in between that or my body care and then i finish with my sunscreen the sunscreen i've been using the last month or so is by aquamisha you can see the glow is glowing i love love this sunscreen so much it's very lightweight and very easy to seep into the skin so i've been enjoying it actually i need to restock i think i have very little left maybe a week's worth of sunscreen so i need to reach out to my plug anti beauty and tell them to send me another sunscreen yeah so those are the products i've been using in the morning i'm going to list them down below and i'm also going to leave a link to anti beauty's page so that you guys can go and order anything that you like here talk to them and they will tell you what your skin needs but for me i have combination oily so my cheeks tend to be normal to dry and my t-zone is usually oily not so oily anymore because i've been doing a lot of treatment on my face but yeah it's now kind of balanced and that's why i have sort of some hydrators in my routine yeah so i'm done with that let's go to the living room so that i can share with you what i got from pandamat and then i can quickly edit that 
real post-it and then go grocery shopping i also need to go get waxed because yeah when i'm looking cute <laughs> i need to go wax and that's why i even scrubbed my pits because yeah it helps with the pain when you scrub before you're waxing let's go to the living room i share with you what i got from pandamax i've worn a sweater because it's getting cold i wanted to stay warm because yeah this weather is not joking yeah so i want to share with you what i got from pandamat but before i do that let me share with you some good finds that i got from carrefour well they're not good finds they're things that i go buy from there because <laughs> i can only find them at carrefour uh just quickly first my usual chewing gum mentors i love this red one and i want to try this blue one i've tried it before i think it's really good i get this only from carrefour so whenever i go i buy like two and they should last me a really long time i also got some tic tac you don't want stinky breath so buy some tic tac and put in your purse and when you feel like you haven't spoken all day and you haven't been drinking your water and you've just been quiet pop in like two or three and freshen your breath okay thank you <laughs> and then something else that i got from kafo that i really love is this washcloth it's a bath loofah but it's like one long strip it's not the usual fluffy ones i have one that is done i showed you guys earlier when i was taking my shower so it's done and worn out when i saw this one at kafo i had to buy it they're the only ones that stock it and it's really 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 good it's like a balance between your regular loofah and an exfoliating glove so like for everyday showers you can use this what i love about it is that it's one long strip so when you hang it it actually gets to dry and it's perforated so it doesn't hold water love it so i had to buy one i wish i even bought two and it's by clean it the other thing i needed to buy were these uh what do we call them cotton pads for my face now that i am using a toner more often i need to have these cotton wipes or cotton pads to use to wipe my face usually when i wear makeup i remove makeup using water wipes and micellar water but now i need some cotton pads for my toner so this was 410 it has how many 120 yeah he has 120 of them they should last me for the rest of the year i would say yeah this should be enough because i don't turn all the time i don't turn every day and now let's get into what i got from panda mat so <laughs> first things first i got a ball <laughs> so my nephew said he wants a ball and he wants a red and blue ball his favorite color is red and he also likes blue so when i saw the ball i had to remember oh my god my nephew has been asking for a ball i need to get him the ball so i bought the ball i hope he likes it and i hope it's his four will he is this good enough for a four-year-old i think so it's a bouncy ball i think it's good quality and they can like uh pump it up with a feather here i don't know i don't know much about balls i don't know much about kiddie things but yeah i finally got a red and blue ball i now have to find something for the sisters because you don't give to one child and leave the other so i'll find makeup for the big girl and then maybe a doll or a toy for the smaller one <laughs> in my auntie era i love the ball though it's good i've actually been playing with it here and i'm like maybe i should get myself a ball maybe i should get myself a ball but anyway yeah got that from pandamat so if you have kids pandamat is your plug they have very many toys and then on to serious adult things <laughs> i got these liners for my air fryer and they are disposable and they are biodegradable it's that parchment paper kind of paper and this will fit my air fryer i have been struggling to wash that air fryer every time i make something in it but not anymore i have this and they are 50 pieces that they were of different sizes if you have a bigger air fryer there's a size for it if you have a smaller one there's a size for it so i got this i can't wait to use them and when i do i'll share with you guys my review and then i got these uh towels i would call them 
I don't know if they are I, I don't I don't know the fabric but it's giving microfiber I got two of them in this color that I have been loving so much I've been loving shades of brown beige that line so I got two to use in the kitchen to just wipe surfaces down dry my hands when I'm cooking and they're super super soft guys let me tell you the towels at Panda Mat, the towels my god it's just that i have been on this journey to minimalism i didn't need any more towels but guys go to pandamat and you will see the variety of towels they have and bath towels were like 790 i think for a really good quality bath towel they have very nice minimalist patterns if you're maximalist and you like colors they have that as well guys don't say i didn't plug you i just didn't need any more towels but they have really good quality and variety of towels and then i got some scissors i don't have a nice pair of scissors to cut like hair strings or open packages i don't have like a nice pair i had to buy that and then i got <laughs> guys i got blush i got blush from pandamat how funny i saw this and it was like and the pigment is pigmenting the pigment is pigmenting let me tell you for things that don't go directly on my skin i can gamble and i can just buy whichever whatever so this is the blush it comes with these pink shades and i will see i will see if it works i think it was like 200 bob or something i will see and share with you guys and then i've been wanting this square bamboo tray for my countertop you see where i usually place my oil coconut oil black pepper and uh the the bowl and the container that holds my wooden sticks i needed like a cuter option for that and i got this i've been looking for this tray and i found it at panda Mart. they have like a different size as you can see they come in different sizes these are bigger than this and are smaller than this really good quality i have similar ones around the house on my i have one for my tea station and one for shorty the snake plant <laughs> i have one like this so i know it's good quality i can't wait to set it up i think we will do this later when i come back from shopping and then the thing that took me to panda mat you guys have been complaining about my white chopping board and i was like okay guys i hear you i hear you it's stained it doesn't bother me but i don't want to change it i don't want to clean it so what did i do i got myself a whole set <laughs> a whole set of chopping boards and i love these bamboo ones because they are lightweight so i can easily carry them around when i am prepping food so this one comes with a what do we call it a handle all of them have handles but this looks different from the other ones and they're of different sizes let's unbox so that we can see how they look like so they were 1000 i think 1000 and something shillings for all three which i thought was a really good deal so here's the first one they are very lightweight which i love this is the first one it has like these small ridges this is usually nice if you're chopping something that has soupy things so the soup just collects here so i'll use this for my for my fruit i'll use this tiny one for my fruit when i'm cutting oranges pineapple all that i'm going to be using this and it's just going to be for my fruits only only fruits and then the second one is this one this i'm going to be using for my vegetables that's carrots uh, tomatoes onions and all of that it's a good size i can easily just chop up and then you know cook and and it's very lightweight and easy to just use carry around with my tiny hands <laughs> yeah so this is going to be just for veggies carrots and the like and then i have a bigger one which is not so big it's still a very good size this is going to be for meats meats only so beef chicken and the like i'm going to be using this big one so i'm going to dispose of the white one because i don't think i need well i won't dispose it i'll ask my cleaning lady if she wants to take it she can clean it and take it but i am going to now be using these three for my meal prep fruit veg and meat that's it no i got 
this pillow oh my god i forgot i got this pillow from pandamata as well it's a very nice cute uh jutish kind of fabric i love it and it's very light in color it's like a beige which i have been loving you can see how it looks nice against my couch i got this because i don't have a rectangular pillow for my living room it was 1000 shillings for the pillow and cover which i thought was a really good deal considering the quality of this pillow case especially the pillow not much because it's just for vibes but the case the case is really good quality it has like the concealable zipper so you can't even tell it has a zipper i love it so much so i said i'll buy one and if i like it i'll go back and pick another one so that i can have more sausage not sausage <laughs> more rectangular pillows for my house so that's what i got from pandamat yeah that's it you guys go check them out we they have really nice items if you're into home improvement you can check uh any essentials for your house things for your kitchen check them out and let me know what you find and what you think about their store i've been there before but last time i went it was just when it was opened so it was chaotic so this time around i enjoyed shopping although i feel like they don't have that many items especially for storage i was looking for like a big basket for storage and i didn't find a uh, good color most of them were gray and um over the gray hype yeah so let me edit my reel quickly and then we can go grocery shopping no i need to pass by fast pink and bow for waxing then finish with grocery shopping and i can share with you the haul much later Just take it slow There's no need to rush things, no Let's figure out a way You know it's you and me Don't care what I say So please don't go away, don't leave Without you, boy, I cannot breathe Let's figure out a way You know it's you and me Don't care what I say We're back home my goodness that was quite a trip it was quite a shopping trip but i've gotten everything i needed to buy today let me quickly show you what i've bought it's quite a haul i'm thinking of sitting down but no let me just stand here again the light is better here okay to start us off i got two bags of oranges because yeah i'm taking a lot of citrus fruits so i've bought this just nearby on my way back it's orange season so if you're not taking advantage better i also got a pineapple i love pineapple they're some of my favorite fruits so i had to stock up and in my luteal face i eat a lot of pineapple because it's rich in bromelain the term yeah i think that's the term and it's a really good um anti-inflammation component i would call it so if you're in your luteal face eat a lot of pineapples they also help with cramping gosh my voice my voice guys um then i think it's only right we just dig into the fresh vegetables and then we go into the other things that i've gotten I've gotten some basil to make my favorite basil tomato chicken pasta. I have a recipe in one of the vlogs here, but I think when I make it, I'll try and vlog and share with you guys. So some basil. Then I got some pak choy, bok choy, to make my favorite chicken dish. It's like sort of a Chinese stir fry that I make with chicken breast. So I'm going to be using both of them at the same time because this is like cabbage. So it shrinks down quickly then i got some lemons as i've mentioned i'm taking a lot of citrus things although these are mainly for my kachumbari because i i try not to take lemon juice as is because of hyperacidity but yeah if need be at least i have some and then i got some green hohos 
capsicum if you call them that <laughs> i got some hohos i have the red and yellow still i haven't been cooking a lot so i still have those just had to stock up on this and then i have a whole bag not even one like three bags i have two bunches of terere and then one bunch of the other kaskuma wiki there's a shorter skuma wiki i don't know the name but it's like less acidic and some spinach so i'm going to blanch this and freeze in the freezer for when i am making ugali i can have some greens ready just need frying so yeah i'll prep this tonight so that they are still fresh and then i can blanch them and freeze then i got some broccoli to make my favorite broccoli recipe you guys if you watch that vlog then you know i have been making broccoli with lemon juice really yum and then i got some carrots to add to the stash i have i love carrots a lot with beef i eat carrot with beef a lot i added a few tomatoes i have quite an amount of tomatoes left so i just added a few unripe ones just in case i run out of those i eat tomatoes a lot my god they're my favorite vegetables actually <laughs> I got just a few potatoes. I'm not a fan of potatoes, but I like to have some to have for breakfast or maybe just to fry and have with chicken or something. And then I got some tree tomato, another favorite fruit. I usually buy this from Quick Mart. 100 bob for how many are these for eight and these ones are super big in fact i want to eat some right away really good for iron as well so yeah eat your tomatoes tree tomatoes eat your fruit eat your veg okay yeah so that's all i got from the veg section i think and then let's go to uh fridge fridge foods <laughs> I usually ask the guys at the supermarket to package for me things in sections that way so that it's easy for me to do the haul and easy for me to pack them away so this has fridge items only so i got some yogurt the bio foods berry cocktail you guys know i love it so much i got some sliced cheese for making sandwiches and then i finally found my samosas are back by al's kitchen so i bought two packs i think it was each was two something 200 and something i got two packs there are five samosas inside and they are really really yummy and then i got two sachets of bacon to have with sandwiches for breakfast maybe on sunday you know just like a nice yummy breakfast <laughs> and then i got two containers of chicken breast so one i'll have with the bok choy and then the other one i will have with the pasta that i have just mentioned and then i got some beef steak to have with the broccoli and to make my mongolian beef and some liver because yeah in the lutea face what else do we eat liver for why to improve your iron levels okay <laughs> last but not least and last but not least in our meat section i also got some chicken wings i'm done with the fridge foods let's continue to the rest here's another bag with food let's continue i got some sunflower seeds some pumpkin seeds and some raisins for my granola i ran out of this last time i made granola so i needed to buy because I know I might need to make granola before I go for shopping again. And then I got some milk, four packets of Brookside Long Life Milk. This should last me the month, even, even beyond, because I just take like a packet a week. I only use milk for like milk tea once a week and maybe um what do we call them? French toast, pancakes. So I don't need a lot of milk. This should be enough then i got my favorite snack macadamia nuts with a little baby i got some milo i'm craving some milo i'll actually make some right now i got kericho gold black tea this is a small pack this is for making my milk tea so i'll put it in a jar and then i got the kara coconut cream for making my fish sauce 
for making maybe chicken breast for what else do i add coconut cream in dengu when i want like a dengu curry for chapati i love this so much and i love the small packets i can just use one and that's it and then i got the quick mat mandazis just a few for now i got ugali flour this is hostess i love hostess it's the easiest to make and it's the yummiest for me so this should last me till october i think because i do have some maize meal left i just needed to add more but i don't like buying the small one in fact they don't even have a small one i don't think they do so i just had to buy the 2 kg one for wheat flour i got the ajab small pack because i have some wheat flour left this for pancakes baking just for vibes you know cravings <laughs> and then i got some popcorn it's my other favorite snack for movie nights for you know just resting and feeling when i'm feeling peckish i make popcorn because it's like a low calorie snack but i am eating like my mouth is engaged because yeah i'm quite a foodie and then i got some rice the pal basmati rice orange pack really good rice really really good rice i have some left so this should push me till end october hopefully no at least end september actually october because the jar is full yeah i got some sugar the nutramil i love the nutramil sugar because it's finer it's whiter i feel like it has a distinct taste so yeah and it doesn't turn the color of my tea you know sugar there is sugar that is super dark <laughs> that when you add to tea your tea becomes dark so i love this because it doesn't change my sugar it doesn't change my tea yeah but the 2 kg this should be enough for a very very long time i got some cooking oil the rina three liter it was on offer today actually most of the things i've bought today were on offer which was really good i really appreciate it i think i've saved over two thousand shillings from my total bill just because there were offers so check out quick mart sometimes they have really nice offers especially towards the end of the month yeah so i have some cooking oil i think i'm done with food let's continue this is an extra bag i bought some containers because i need some to store my milo and the other one to store my cocoa powder until i can find jars like nice cute jars higher let's continue to the toiletries cleaning products and the like i got myself this pack of wipes for putting in my handbag i got this clean neat swipe sponge cloth i use this on my counters it's really really good i have three they should last me the rest of the year because i just need like one once a month and i'm good i need like one a month and they should last long and i love that i can wash them and they don't tear then i got a rough notebook i always grab this because i'm quite a scribbler is that the name i scribble a lot so i like to have some uh, i like to have some notebooks and then i got some serviettes i have two packs of this they were on offer today i think it was 80 shillings so i grabbed two and then i got some shower gel the dove cucumber and green tea then i got the nice and lovely glycerin i love this for my feet i also got the nice and lovely hair gel for my edges then i got the glade air freshener in sheer vanilla for the bathroom here's the other serviette pack and then for toilet paper i got 10 at 10 plus 2 wherever it's on offer i'm grabbing it <laughs> I hope this is the, I hope this is the last bag. I, I'm tired. And then I got the Hanan water wipes for the bathroom. I got some toothbrushes because it's time to change to the brushes. I usually buy this Oral B three pack and it lasts me at least three months, so I can change my toothbrush every month until November. Yeah so change the toothbrush okay thanks and also if i have a guest and they didn't have their toothbrush it's just nice to have extra toothbrushes then i got the velvex clean film and then i got the quick dry serviettes for my hands and face i usually put this in the bathroom so that if someone visits they don't need to use my towel my hand towel they can just use those but i also use them on my face i don't use face towels on my face 
and then i got the morning fresh dishwashing liquid the original i love it and then i got vim for cleaning my toilet and sink i got vaseline lotion the cocoa radiant i've been loving it so much i had to buy it again and it's very good for my dry body that's all i got today from my shopping trip it was quite a lot but i am sorted for the next month or so and i should be okay so yeah that's it guys i know this vlog i sound like a gentleman but <laughs> In the next one we better have our voice back please pray for me i am tired of speaking like this i really want my voice back and i need to create content so i need my voice back okay i need my voice back somebody pray for me <laughs> and the weapon that had been sent to prosper it is not prospering mm -mm. it's not going to prosper i'm okay now i'm not sick actually guys it's just the voice i'm fine i'm able to do everything i don't have um i'm not feeling pain anywhere i don't have fever i don't have a runny nose i'm fine i just lost my voice but it's coming back thank you guys so much so much for checking up on me because <laughs> last sunday we didn't have a vlog and for the guys that keep up with me on instagram at least you guys don't get to miss so many things right yeah so make sure you're following me on instagram and guys please please let's subscribe subscribe to my channel we're getting to 20k very soon and i would love for you to be part of 20,000 of us okay please subscribe i appreciate and guys please when you're watching my videos let the ads run wake up go to the toilet wake up go to the kitchen and leave their ad running because i need to make some money i need to make some money so that i can keep bringing you guys this amazing amazing content okay thank you guys so much for watching i will see you next time bye